Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful rainy fall day? So, gonna take advantage of the day. We're gonna get a dump truck video update. We're gonna go out to Tim's. It's about 40 minutes from my house and uh, see where he's at with that. He's not cutting today, so we're able to get out there and he's gonna be working on that bad boy. And then second of all, I had one of the guys reach out to me. I can't say his name. He asked me not to say who he was from the construction site at our big commercial. One of the guys that are working on that project, he emailed and he said, hey, don't worry we're gonna probably be done with this area first thing next week he said so you'll be able to mow we're gonna come in we're gonna seed it straw it just that strip all the way up through there he said currently we do have a really big hole he said but uh the big pipe that was in front of the other building was actually for that front piece uh that they had all dug up yesterday that they're not going across that as of right now he said so they should have that big area in front of that commercial property knocked out and taken care of and uh so that's a good thing we might be able to make some of our end of the year money and finish the fourth quarter strong before we head into snow and lease season and all that anyways so i might if i get a chance i might swing by there and just kind of see the progress he's like dude he, we move quick with this so i guess they're doing it all over our area as well they're just putting in the big pipes underground for uh, you know all the different electricals and internets and everything I, i'm assuming at some point they're going to get rid of all these wooden telephone poles all over the world so yeah we're growing up here in america so we came by this property yesterday the big commercial where they had the whole front tour up one of the guys actually emailed me last night and he said they're going to have it done quicker than we thought uh but definitely not this week but they still have it all all that replaced so I'm sure they're just gonna seed it and then they still got a huge hole right there Doug and uh, I will say that looks way better than it did not even 24 hours ago currently 813 uh, but I wanted to take this opportunity uh, to get out the Tim's and check on the dump truck I know a bunch of you been asking about it I actually started a video uh, I want to say last week or the week before and it just didn't end up working out I was heading out the Thames and then he ended up not being there and we couldn't meet back up in time and then uh, it's just been hit or miss here over the last week 10 days or whatever he's been busy I've been busy he does uh, fall harvesting as well so they're cutting and uh, yeah everything's just been busy busy but like I shared a couple days ago I'm starting to get a bit worried. Uh, I know how much time it takes to weld on aluminum and modify stuff. And I still got to figure out a way to connect that uh, 37 horsepower Billy Goat debris loader uh, to the back of the truck as itself. I know Tim mentioned about building a swing away hitch for me. I just think he's not going to have the time to do it. So I'm going to run out here and chit chat with him, fill him out, and uh, see what he thinks timeline wise because. I got a pile of fall cleanups uh, lining up. Now, worst case scenario, we go in, we mulch them up uh, on certain properties, we can get away with that. The bigger ones like the church, uh, our big hill, uh, just you guys have seen them, all, all the big cleanups, those are gonna have to be removed. So I could still mulch them up and then bag them uh, and then dump them into the dump truck but i gotta have the dump truck for that as well let's get out here and see what old tim's thinking uh he's off today because of the rain they can't cut so yeah next stop we'll be at tim's guess i'll just tuck on in here so we're here at tim's shop looks busy from the outside looks real busy Go in here and uh, get you guys a dump truck update. <clears throat> Surprise, Sean, it's done. Just kidding, Tim. So if you guys don't know, we took our dump trailer wall set up and our billy goat set up and we're modifying it to fit onto our dump truck, okay? Because this aluminum and welding, tubing, everything is outrageous. I mean, outrageous. So we're trying to use as much of our scraps as we possibly can. Well, one of the biggest problem areas is this portion right here with the angle with the flat wall on the inside. So originally we were just gonna create a box on the inside of the bed. Well, that doesn't work the way we wanted to because of the area back here that's all open. 
So, and with the angle coming forward, it leaves a huge, huge gap there that we don't want. So, Tim's just got everything kind of mocked into place here, just being held, this all get bolted uh, here. We took that piece that was here holding the uh, wooden wall, right here, I'll show you. These pieces, we took them out of each side, just cut them out, and uh, there's the wooden walls there. But see how that back panel is sitting down in the bed, bottom of the bed? Well, that's gonna be lifted up to the top of the other existing walls on each side. And then we're gonna run four of the roof bows across the top utilizing as much of our material that we possibly can. So we still have all of this uh, from the dump trailer. Now, with the back, we were originally gonna make a panel that came down to the top of this tailgate and just butt it against the top, drop this, that would flip out naturally and dump. Well, we come to find with the way this tailgate is made, it's got a huge enclosure under here. Under here, it's not like tubing like this and it's at an angle we would pretty much destroy the tailgate trying to make something to connect to it for that hinge you know it has to have a a point in the middle there where it can connect uh, and then we could disconnect it but just way too much work to mess with that tailgate with the latching system this latching system has a bar that runs all the way across here that goes all the way through here it's just way too much so now we're gonna actually take the tailgate completely off and we're gonna have just one big door that hinges at the top and hangs. <clears throat> and then the plan is to swing the billy goat away, maybe a small trailer. I really don't wanna do the trailer because this truck is so big, it's hard to see that as, a, as it is and backing any kind of little trailer up behind it would be really, really tough. So, uh, yeah, tailgate's gotta go, we're gonna, we gotta order a new back door because none of, we gotta make a new back door, I should say, because none of these panels are big enough to fit that entire area. Because you can see that's the other original inside wall and it's too small uh, for the inside of the bed as it is. So what we're gonna do is use that one on the inside instead of how it used to be on the outside of each wall, square tubing on the inside of it now so we can actually use it because Go price this aluminum, guys, and it will absolutely blow your mind. So, yeah, that's the overall plan. Uh, Tim's gonna be, he's gotta run to get a piece of metal uh, fabricated because his machine, I believe he said his machine wasn't working properly or something, so he's gotta take it. But, yeah, that main piece there, because it's angled like this, goes up, it's just a lot of cutting and we really don't want to do all that craziness you know with the aluminum it, it would just look like a, a puzzle pieced all together but yeah that's kind of where we're at with the dump truck i still got to figure out a way to put that 37 horsepower billy goat on the back and uh yeah there's a quick dump truck update for you all right guys so i would have finished this video <laughs> in the house but tq is currently doing laundry and like i shared with you all the other day the dryer isn't exactly uh running very well it uh it's kind of loud to be honest with you and uh we need to get the kids sports stuff washed up uh the rain has kind of moved out it's actually fairly nice right now nice little breeze and but anyways i can't make the video in the house because i can't believe you can't hear it out here screaming i mean it is extremely loud Anyways, so I told you I would give you a dump truck update. Got that taken care of for you at this point. Now I need to give you a truck update, the new truck. Uh, I shared with some of you last week that caught the video that we purchased the new truck and simply we were waiting on them to remove their business wrap from it. Uh, it needed to be professionally done because it was a high-end wrap and you know, I mean, I know people use heat guns or you know whatever hair dryers to remove stuff like that but you know i don't know the details of it but they needed to have it professionally removed and then they had it uh detailed as well and a few other little things and it's coming up on the end of the week now it's thursday uh we're going to be picking it up this weekend so i'm actually going to be taking a trip uh, I told some of you that I had to go to Eastern PA. I mean, it's like almost on the border of uh, New York there and Pennsylvania. 
So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. I'm going to be hopping in the truck and going to get that bad boy and then uh, hightailing it back across Pennsylvania into Ohio. So it's about six hours uh, drive there and then six hours back. And then obviously you got to do taxes, title and all of that. So uh, look for that video. I'm aiming probably for Sunday. I'll at least do it like an unveil. Uh, as long as everything goes as planned. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't want to leave anybody hanging. It just, uh, I could have went and got it yesterday, or actually today. I could have went and got it today, Thursday. Uh, but it just didn't work out for him and his company because what he does is, uh, you know, it's kind of time sensitive, I guess you could say. I'm not going to share any of his business stuff because uh, I'm just not going to do that. So anyways, yeah, going to be a short video here for you guys today. We've just been working on things non-lawn care related, but uh, also got you some, uh, I guess, information on the trucks and where they kind of stand at this point. So uh, moving along, uh, maybe not as fast as what I would want, but, you know, that's part of it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video today. As always, keep mowing, keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We will talk to you later. TQL, peace. Bye-bye.